it's time for a spelling analysis. And today we get to have a word with my favorite phonogram. Let's say the sounds together. Ah, oh, ooh, ow, off, off. Let's say it again. Ah, oh, ooh, ow, off, off. Let's do it again. Ah, oh, ooh, ow, off, off. This is the phonogram with the most sounds. And one of our words is going to use this phonogram. So be listening for it. Our first word is was. She was feeling very cold. Was. Go ahead and say was. Was. Let's sound it out. Was. Wait a minute. Did you hear maybe a lazy vowel sound? I did too. So we are going to say to spell was. Say that with me. Was. She was cold. <laughs> that sounds a little funny, but we need to exaggerate the vowel so that we can hear it because it was being lazy and just going, uh. <laughs> Let's say was together again. Was. That's how we'll say to spell. Wa, a, use a, 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 z, use a s, z. Go ahead and write it. Was. Excellent. Now help me to write it. Wa, a, z. What sound of a, a, a do we hear in was? A, a, a. The broad sound. You're right. Notice, there it is again. It's saying it's broad sound after a W. And what sound of s, z do we hear in was? We hear its second sound. Z. Let's read it. W, a, z, was. And what do we say? Was. The next word is thought. I thought that was very interesting. Thought. Go ahead and say it. Thought. Let's sound it out. Th, aw, t. Whoa, did you see that? How many letters are in that aw? Four. Which phonogram is that? Ah, o, u, ow, off, off. Let's do it again. Thought. Ah, t. Got it? Go ahead and write thought. Good job. Now help me to write it. Ah, t. How will we mark thought? We'll underline the th and the ah. And what sound of ah, o, u, ow, off, off is this? Thought. Ah, thought. It's the first sound, so we don't need to put a number over it. Let's sound it out. Ah, t. Thought. The next word is that. That is a great idea. That. Go ahead and say that. That. Let's sound it out. V. This is v. Do you hear that? V. A. T. That. Go ahead and write that. Now help me to write it. V. A. T. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the v. And what sound of th v is in that? Is it th that? No. Is it v that? Yes, it's its second sound. V a t that. Wall. I bounced the ball against the wall. Wall. Go ahead and say wall. Wall. Let's sound it out. Wa, a. This is an a, a, a. O, o. Did you hear that? Wa, a, 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 a. O, o. Go ahead and write wall. Now help me to write it. Wa, a, o, o. What sound of a, a, a do we hear in wall? That's right, it's, it's broad sound, and we doubled the L. Why? We often double F, L, or S after a single um, vowel at the end of a base word. And notice, it's saying it's broad sound again after a W, 
And in this word, it's also before an L. So let's sound it out. W, A, U, U, wall. The last word is king. The king has a crown on his head. King. Go ahead and say king, king. Let's sound it out. K. This is a tall k. I, ng. Got it? King. Go ahead and sound it out as you write it. Now help me to write it. K, I, ng. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the ng. Let's sound it out together. K, I, ng. King. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.